Welcome back to Poem Master Channel. In this video, we will provide a detailed explanation of the unique ACL pulmon design of the Poe Relapse Split series. First, we will mount the inverter on a wall. As this is a transformer based inverter, it contains two large and heavy transformers, making the entire unit quite heavy. Therefore, it is essential to securely fix the inverter to the wall using a mounting bracket. After removing the port cover, use the two screws on the left and the right at bottom of the inverter's back panel to stabilize the inverter. Next, connect the battery to the inverter, ensuring correct polarity. A 15 mm socket wrench is required for this step. Then connect the AC input power, making sure to correctly identify the live wire and neutral wire. After that, connect the two outlets to the inverter's AC output ports. Here we connect one power strip to NL1 to output 220 volt, and another outlet to NL2 to output 110 volt. After closing the battery circuit and power on the inverter, in inverter mode, we connect a 110 volt decorative light to the 110 volt outlet and the 220 volt photographic light to the 220 volt power strip. Close the 110 volt output circuit breaker and the decorative light will turn on. Then close the 220 volt output circuit breaker and the photographic light will light up. If we disconnect the 110 volt output circuit breaker, the decorative light will turn off, but the 220 volt photographic light will continue to operate. At the same time, both outputs are activated and both lights will be lit. Next, we change the NL2 output circuit to connect to the L1 output port. As you can see, after closing the L1 L2 circuit, the 110 volt decorative light will still work properly, and the NL1 can also simultaneously supply power. Now let's explain setting item 11 and setting item 21. First, we know that output voltage of NL1 is twice that of the NL2 and also twice that of L1 L2. If setting item 21 is set to 110 volt, setting item 11 focuses on configuring the voltage for item NL2 or L1 L2 output, while the NL1 output will be twice the value set in item 11. If setting item 21 is set to 220 volt, then setting item 11 will focus on the voltage configuration for NL1 and the voltage for NL2 or L1 L2 will be half the value of the item 11. In summary, setting item 21 focuses on configuring the upper voltage for item NL2 and L1 L2 or NL1, Why setting item 11 focuses on adjusting the specific output voltage for the chosen circuit. In conclusion, the Power Relapse Split Series offers multiple output modes. For example, if setting item 21 is set to 110 volt and the setting item 11 is set to 120 volt, you can connect only NL2 to output 120 volt, or connect only L1 L2 to output 120 volt. 
or connect only an L1 to output 240 volt. You can also connect both an L1 and an L2 to simultaneously output 120 volt and 240 volt. This concludes the explanation and the demonstration of the AC output mode for the Pell Relap Split Series. We hope this was helpful to you. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next video.